What do you do? What am I doing? In arithmetic, it look like that. Arithmetic? Yeah. Maybe I can help you aim an accountant. Well, I was thinking, after I drag your ass in, I'm going to pick up that nice fat paycheck you're going to offer me, and I'm going to cash it in, and I'm going to open a lovely little coffee shop. How much exactly are you getting from me, if I can ask? I don't think that's any of your concern. I'm probably going to tell you this today. Underground. Underground? Will you take 100 grand to let me go? Not a chance. 200 grand? No way. Why? Because I've never taken a payoff in my life and I'm not about to start with someone like you. Why not? Why not? Because you're a criminal. You're a fucking low life. And you deserve to go at your own. And let me tell you something else. Nothing in my instructions says that you've got to come home in one piece. So if you don't keep your mouth shut, I'm going to take you to that bathroom and I'm going to break both of your legs. Ah, uh, I have to tell you. A restaurant is a very tricky investment. More than half and go under the first six months. If I was your accountant, I'd have to strongly advise you against it. Well, I'd say it's a good job you're not my accountant. Wouldn't you? <laughs> if I were your accountant, I would have to. Look, like I told you. We're not here to have this. No, I'm, I'm just saying it's a very tricky business. And if I were your accountant, I would have to really strongly advise you against it as an accountant. Yeah, well, you're not my accountant. I realize I'm not your accountant. I'm saying if I was your accountant. Have you ever heard the phrase arterial chlorosis? <laughs> Cholesterol. If you want to look in a complete balanced diet, you. I made it to me from C block. Why would you eat that? Why would I eat it? Yeah. Because it tastes good. That's not good for you. Yeah, well, I'm aware of that. So you're aware you're, it's not good for you, but you just keep eating it anyway? Yeah. Isn't that uh, living in denial? Living in denial? Hmm. Yeah, it is. I'm aware of that too. So you're aware of all your behavior, yet you continue to do things you know aren't good for you. Seems kind of foolish, don't you think, Jack? Foolish? No. I'd say stealing $15 million from Jimmy Serrano is kind of foolish. Why didn't think I'd get caught? <laughs> well, that's living in denial. I'm aware of that. Oh, so you were aware of your bad behavior, yet you continue to do it, despite the knowledge that it's not good for you. It seems kind of foolish, doesn't it, John? It was foolish. But stealing 15 million of mob money, giving it to charity, was good for a lot of people. So you pissed off a mafioso killer so that you could be loved by a bunch of fucking strangers? Don't you want to be loved? Plenty of people love me, all right? Really, who? I have a wife and a daughter back in Chicago. What did they put up all your sarcasm? Beautifully. I haven't seen either of them in nine years. Maybe we should go see them? No, no, I don't think maybe we should go and see them. Job must have been tough enough. I didn't do this back then. What you did? I was a cop. You were a cop? In Chicago? Mm. Then you must know all about Jimmy Serrano. Do you think you have the right to ask me certain questions? Yeah, I think you do. Yeah, when you don't. I think I do. No, you don't. And dinner is over. Get the fuck out of here, alright? Don't worry about it, Jack. I'm not going to be with you much longer. <laughs> really? Oh, do tell. From what I know about Serrano, if I go to jail, I'll be dead within 24 hours, so sooner or later, I'm going to have to give you the slip. <laughs> How do you find the tumors? <laughs> I do, I do find that funny. Two dollars, that's all you're going to leave? Fifteen percent. Thirteen percent. These people depend on tips for a living. <laughs>